Hello, I am Mike of the Zorch. I haven't been streaming for a while. What the heck? Well, actually, I haven't been streaming for a while because I've been fixing from problems with my personal gaming rig, which I do a lot of streaming from. Unless I unless I absolutely need the machine in there because the screens are horrible. Uh, we need new screens, but we don't have the money to buy new screens. So we need to get more new screens to replace the ones in there in there that are just absolute garbage to look at. They're, they're hard on the eyes to strain my eyes. I use a remote desktop to use the server in there to do video editing. It works very well doing remote desktop actually. RDP protocol it, that works actually really good. It's almost as if you're actually sitting in front of the machine, so it's that it's that fast. But uh, the problem with my personal gaming rig is I've got this four bay external eSATA drive enclosure. It's a MediaSonic device. We have a whole bunch of them. The server has like uh, four of them. Two are eight bay uh, MediaSonic enclosures, and two are four bay. And I've got one of the older four bays. It's uh, hooked to a east, uh, external SATA card that's in my gaming rig. And I have been using uh, two of these three terabyte Seagate drives. Now, these were originally bought for the server in there to replace some drives that were bad. These were bought from Newegg. And after we got them, Tiger tested them. He was trying to use them in uh, Linux. He was using DD Rescue, which is like one of the most absolutely tenacious file recovery drive rescue software I've ever seen. I mean, this, this thing absolutely will not give up trying to get your files off of a bad drive. And he was having problems trying to write stuff to these drives. It, it, it just was failing like crazy. Just absolutely failing. So he stopped using them. We tried to, re we tried to return them, but uh, Newegg wouldn't take them. So after a while, I decided, you know, I, I'm going to test these to see if I can use these in Windows. I'm going to see if this was a Linux thing. Of the server at the time was was using Linux. I'm gonna see. Okay, it, was this a Linux thing? And they worked. Uh, the these three terabyte drives actually worked for a better part of a year. Then recently, within the past, actually within the past five months, I started having problems. The same kind of problems that he started having. Write problems. Write error problems. Windows event, um, the, in the Windows event viewer, I kept seeing messages saying uh, the drive has a bad block on both drives. And so I didn't have the money to replace them for a long time. So I, I, I waited until I could. And I, recently I was able to, I bought two... Uh, certified refurbished Hitachi three terabyte drives. They are certified refurbished and warranted by a reputable refurbisher that I'm familiar with. So they do very good work. So they were uh, good drives and I, I tested them and I copied the files off of the old drives using Robocopy which is a built-in copy command within Windows 10. It is a extremely powerful copy command. It's got a lot of features, a lot of capabilities. It's designed for people like me, IT professionals. So it, it's pretty powerful. But it took a while. Um, now because I think part of the problem is is the surface on these drives was starting to go bad. So you were getting surface degradation. If you start getting that on a drive, using it, continuing to use it, will spread the circuit surface degradation. Also, I think the cache on the uh, controller board had some issues too. 
so I turned off disk caching for um ro I had robo I, I set the command uh the command options to turn off disk caching or or buffering for robocopy and it worked it backed up the entire first entire drive my uh my G drive and then I had to do the F drive which is this this one and the F drive that one had some issues with some stuff uh, it's mostly a lot of Steam games all I have to do now is because they're working Steam's running right now it's actually downloading updates for stuff because I haven't had it running in a while all I have to do is for the games that have problems that have corrupted files or missing files I just do I just have Steam running in a integrity check and it will then re-download the files for those games uh, some other stuff I do have to reinstall there is Minecraft and Gears of War from the Windows Store I had both of those from there those are the only two things I actually had from the Windows Store so I have to reinstall those because Robocopy wouldn't copy those so that's why I haven't been on because I've been doing maintenance because uh, I don't do a lot of streams from in there right now unless I have to use the green screen um, I don't do it in there because the, the monitors in there are horrible um, they were they were uh, meant for a different purpose they weren't meant to be used on that machine in there they're not very good quality they're they're 1080p screens but they've got awful backlighting it's harsh on the eyes and tiger and i have problem with problems with really bright light i mean which is also um, one of the other reasons why i haven't been streaming from in there uh, on that machine is because uh we use the green screen in there and we have cfl lighting and the lights that we use that for are really big and I have to have them in my face and we have problems because of our vision we have problems with bright light and and I have problems with bright light like him like Tiger does and uh, that's why I haven't been doing it in there why I haven't been doing the green screen uh, so I'll be able to just get back now to streaming games, streaming uh, Elder Scrolls Online, Final Fantasy XIV, and some other stuff, and, and doing some other things, and uh, also doing videos from the Atari 2600 series. I'll be able to get back to that too. That's been on hold while waiting for this to get finished. I started this. Uh, I started this on. I stopped doing it because the drives were having pro were really bad issues and then I finally got the drives done on Friday and I started the copy and it's been going ever since actually I think I started it Saturday no 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 it wasn't Friday it was Saturday they came in and I started it that day they came in early started it that day and it just now finished the second drive just now finished so it's been going that long a copy that long I mean that went that long for Tiger when he was getting our files off of a bad drive on the server and he was using DD rescue anyway that's why I haven't been away why I haven't been streaming uh, I will be back in fact I may um, actually start streaming in tomorrow possibly we'll see what happens I still have a lot of work to do I've got games that are corrupted that need to be need to uh, have steam fix them and some other things I need to make sure that there's been no freezer burn um, it looks like everything's working steam did not you know complain it didn't drop the library the drop the libraries on those drives it detected that they were there it was happy with them so I've got that up and working. I've got um, the Epic Game Store still to work with and uh, the Twitch app.
app that's still to work with. I got games from the Twitch app that I need to check out to make sure they're working. And I need to get uh, Minecraft reinstalled. Anyway, I'm Mike the Zorch. Just wanted to let you know why I haven't been around. But I will be back now that I'm finally up and running. So, thanks for watching.